Hello my lovely Aries, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a fabulous, fabulous indeed reading. I'm so excited. Yes, we are at the end of December and we are going to have a look what's coming for you in general, in general for the next year, which is 2023 Aries. It is, I have a feeling in my bones, it's going to be a fabulous year. It is the year of hope. It's the year of hope. Uh, and hope is good. Hope is definitely good. And that's what we need. I think we have had quite tough last two, three years. And I think we are ready to build again. Right, Aries? Just keep in mind, this is not one on one reading. So take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. And can I say thanks so much for sticking with me and joining and subscribing and liking and commenting i'm ever so grateful now and i hope many many years to come together Alrighty, i'm gonna lay down a card for each month and of course we're gonna clarify and i'm gonna go intuitively i really want to see what kind of energies are surrounding you this year month by month you ready Oh, starting right in. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So sorry for the glare. Now, I'm going to lay them down. No. Oh, Judgment. Okay. Knight of Swords. Three of Cups. Okay. Page of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and Temperance, Temperance, sorry, and Page of Pentacles. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty. This is an interesting energy. Overall, there is a very... Oh, I like this. I really do. I really do. And I have to say, even though we have the judgment, right? And we have some five pentacles. It is a very light-hearted, light-hearted year. And it has a luck on your side. And it has this beautiful, very strong guidance. With temperance, with nine of pentacles, this three of cups and queen of swords. You have very strong protection around you and that is so important in the moment when we feel the i wouldn't say the weakest but when we feel low or when we feel we need the guidance we need that support visible or invisible and now with empress and the high priestess it's like two queens one after another literally they are coming out of woodwork and it's so interesting because empress empress is the mother of the tarot she's the nurturer she's the nurturer of all of the crops of the possibilities of the families because it's talking about fertility it is talking about possibilities if you wish you have aries a free Will. We do have free will and no one can take that away from you. And with Empress being here, it's really kind of cementing, saying it's time for you maybe to step up, really take control, take a charge of your life and doing things your way, the way you like it. And it's really kind of guiding you to really maybe step up, voice it. Because High Priestess is someone... No, High Priestess says, mind your business. However, she's talking about speaking the truth from your heart. Speaking your mind. And not having that habit of biting your tongue and not saying the truth. What you feel, what you think. Communication of from your deep, from, from your heart is very important. And... Look, you know, probably heard before, especially now Queen of Swords, there's more than one way how you can express what you want to say, right? But overall, them two together, they're really kind of progressing. 
it's kind of growing from strength to strength. There is this, it kind of feels like if you ever fall down or feeling low, there is kind of like you're going to pick up very quick. That's the year, the energy of the year and the hope is definitely coming in. You kind of, it kind of feels like you're going to test yourself off relatively quickly, whatever, no matter whatever happens. Now, let's dive in January. Well, January sometimes can be quite a strange month, right? And after, especially if you celebrate Christmas or holidays, um, it kind of feels a bit weird. Now, and we do reflect throughout December and January of what is going on in our lives. A lot of people, hey, me including, sometimes we create a to-do list, achieve list for the next the next to this year. We create goals. We create um, things we're going to drop from our lives, like, I don't know, chocolate or meat or whatever it is. But here you are actually looking at, okay, where... Where I'm standing this year, what I would like to achieve. Um, shall I change the course or shall I um, do whatever I want, not whatever I want, but where I am right now? And it's kind of like, really, am I ready to cash in? Is this the right course I want to take? And with, with the judgment in February as well, it's kind of have this feel of really measuring the success and knowing what good looks like what is success to you Aries because success for many people means different things and you can't measure against someone else that that's why we always say please do not compare yourself because we all have different type of measure measuring kind of uh, mechanisms and uh, judgment is is really kind of saying as well be gentle to yourself all right don't be too harsh as well but it kind of feels as whatever is owed to you is coming your way right whatever is owed to you both ways right it's a very karmic it's a very karmic um card keep that in mind as well right now let's talk about the march right march is look i love the way the tarot talks to one another and 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 it's not just one month and then we draw a line and there's a next month there's the energies flow and energies kind of really um combine the story and with the knight of swords it kind of feels that there is there is a sense of change in the air coming in in march and especially with uh it's it's a, a movement it's a moment of thought it's a moment of ideas of beliefs what you think and what you think about yourself and where you should be going. And it kind of feels like then, then coming into April, it feels that you are on the right course. Maybe you have turned a page. Maybe you have, um, for some of you, you might have some sort of real realizations saying to yourself, look, I am where I am. I can't do nothing about that right now, but I can change my course. I can improve some certain things in my life if I wish to. And very small steps. You probably heard me before, and I'm going to say again: the power of small is super important. Now, three of cups. It's kind of like it's celebration for some of you. You could be celebrating either um, christening, marriage, coming together, and family do. And you know, family could mean various things for each one of us. It could be literally traditional family. It could be our peer group that we feel like we're belonging as well and it feels that you might be finding your way in society or maybe not even society in a group of like-minded people who or it could be maybe following a writer and following the writer's ideology or someone on youtube right and it feels like you're starting to belong somewhere and kind of really brings you kind of new sense of belonging new sense of um importance new sense of guidance and how to think how to believe a kind of really shift on your ideology in a little bit and it is definitely celebration it's kind of lifting up that mood and celebrating look at the cups are emotion these are emotions that you're kind of lifting up emotions up and and so now we have a page of cups here as well and page of cups is really adding that next cup to that to that group here 
And it's sometimes talks about vulnerability and us being very honest and talking about things that matter and really opening up. If I kind of feel that maybe a very spiritual, the first half is, is, is very about the way you feel, the way, even though there is things happening, you're working and there's a kids or not kids and, but in general, the things that matter is the way you feel, where you belong, how you, what's this whole overall sense about it. And with Six of Pentacles now, Six of Pentacles is generosity. And it, it's both ways. It's not just one way, right? It's not taking or giving. And it does talk about, is it asking a question as well? Are you too generous to the rest of your peer group or family maybe you're giving too much or giving not enough um but it doesn't talk just about money it does talk about energy about time advice and it does talk as well that empress actually as well is very generous and overall sometimes people can take someone's generosity as their weakness right um however when i see six of pentacles it is a time that the universe says look you're going to, especially now is a judgment here as well. You're going to get what's coming your way. And if you've been kind, if you've been uh, treating life well, life is going to treat you well as well. And the universe is definitely going to get the payback to you. It's kind of measuring up what, um, it's not what you're worth, but it's really kind of like um, seeing what you are as a real person. Your intentions matter indeed now. I do like to see the Nine of Pentacles, the six, um, the rest of the remaining year. It's really, it, it does feel that there's like two parts of the year. And up until the May, it does feel like um, it's really kind of like very, how you feeling, what's going on. And then it's kind of picking up a, a really quite faster pace. Um, with Nine of Pentacles, so you're really taking that charge, you kind of, feeling that you have gained that energy that you need to um and taking start of taking a really kind of full responsibility and full charge of your life and full charge of things that are going around you about your finances running your family or even you just your own finances it doesn't matter if you're on your own or with some just a partner and it's really kind of uh feels very um I, would, I don't like really saying just the boss, right? But it kind of really like, you're in charge, at least your energy is not leaking. That's what I have to say. Now, we have the Four of Swords as well. And it's kind of like, feels like it's time for holiday. Yes, indeed. Time for reflection, right? And, and it feels that maybe in August is really kind of, it's very, very important to, Take time out and reflect. Take time out. And, and some things you might want to put to bed. I have to say this. And some things you will put to bed because it feels that you are going to be shutting down certain things in your life. It could be people. could be maybe changing a job. And you're coming out from poverty thinking you're changing your uh, thinking as well. I'm going to want to call it five. The five was five of pentacles. Yes, indeed. Your prayer has been answered. And it's very important to see the major over minor account. And, and the five of pentacles is not just talking about you, what you think about money. But sometimes feel maybe you feel unfairly treated. Feels that maybe you felt that you had not been seen the way you would like to be seen. However, stepping out of that comfort zone, stepping out of that um, I'm poor or I'm victim, it's very important to shed that and shift, shift it. Look at the two energies here, the, the, the cup, cups, the shallots. Our energy is flowing. Let it go and move on. Just move on, Aries, right? Now, right, it comes October. It's very very decisive months it's like shape you up or you know <laughs> just like that i love queen of swords she's gonna is she she is on your side there could be some person in your life 
that is very straightforward talking, straightforward giving advice. However, it's maybe some qualities that you need to acquire as well, or really kind of like gather, look, look, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. And it kind of feels that you need to maybe um, re reshuffle or rethink who you are associating yourself with or what kind of things you allow in your life. Maybe there's too much um, gossip or maybe too much of a pity talk. Right. Now comes November. It is interesting. We have having Sagittarius season here. And temperance. Again, we have its energy is flowing. It's very important. And it feels like in your life, in, in this year, you have very beautiful kind of energy flow happening. Even though you have some challenges here. But it kind of feels that, you know what? It's really, you might learn a lesson or two. But the life is flowing beautifully. And this healing here is happening as well with the Archangel Raphael's um, wings here. And it's kind of like saying, hey, I'm here to heal you. There's maybe some parts in your life, areas that you may need to address. You need to let it go for you to move forward. Otherwise, you might have some rocky road ahead. Now, it's time to heal. And as you do that, comes December. And December offers you a beautiful real thing there's some opportunities coming comes the end of december and it's so so great it kind of feels that this year is really about your personal growth the way as a person you might go to come through some um some challenges of course but you're gonna grow and you're gonna grow immensely now I want to find out what else we have here. Possibilities. Seven of Cups. This is a bucket list as well. There's a lot of possibilities. Like there's a possibilities. And especially regarding the way you feel. The way how you treat your emotional side and your relationships. Right. Now, conflict. Five of Swords. Well, we have a four of Swords here. There might be some that you things that you are analyzing maybe too much. And being harsh and sometimes on yourself. And the tower, and that's the time to let it go. No time to put the head in the sand. It's time to move on. And as quicker you do, as better you pick up things. And the tower sometimes have to fall. I think there is some going to be some revelations as well with you guys that you might find things about yourself that you never thought that you would say. You know, you, some people say, oh, I'm very fearless. But it comes to certain things, you might realize, hold on a second. I may be, I have some issues that I would like to address. Maybe there are some issues I would like to have a healing. And this is nothing to be fearful for, but it's something to embrace. And the moon, and sometimes what we don't know can scare us. And, 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 and if it's Pisces coming in here, it kind of feels that you may be feeling... And it's a card of spirituality. Absolutely. There's a lot of um, really digging deep happening. Digging deep. And as you dig deeper, you find more and more. However, we do end up with a success here. And the Six of Wands is something that I really, really love to see. It's a traditional tarot. It's a man sitting on top of the horse and having victorious flag in his hands going through the town and being cherished and cheered for and this card is you end your year on on top it's been absolutely immensely beautiful year it was well worth it and look and we have it um and we have the luck is on your side really i can't i can't stress enough there is there's a lot of protection here there's a lot of good luck here and even though we didn't touch even half or even tiny bit, we touched in general kind of energies, what is going on. There is a lot of the good timing is important. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition as well. The with high priestess and the timing will be crucial. And that will determine whether it's 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 lucky one or not as well. You know, so you need to listen to your heart. There's a lot of talking about the heart and heart and heart. Your commitment is being tested. It is kind of asking you to show the world, will you? Wow. Okay. To make your decision, ask yourself, 
which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. It is so interesting. I did have the sense that you're really kind of weighing up what it is I want to do, what where it is I want having having the best time where i feel like I, I belong the most what makes me happy what 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 which way brings me closer to my divine purpose it's kind of kind of feels like a little bit soul searching in the ways as well wait okay we do have the timing card as well and the timing is very important now and ask your angels oh that is interesting that is interesting Okay, so I did mention about the help and protection. So if it's not angels, it could be even your spirit guides, God, universe, nature, trees, whatever. Ask that divine light for guidance. Ask for answers. Ask for signs. Ask for comfort. Ask for healing. And asking, this is being vulnerable in ways as a page of cups. And it's it's good. And do your own time. You don't have to spread it all over the social media. That It's your very individual uh, time as well. Now, crossroads. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. So, it is interesting. You are being kind of a way tested. You will come across a life-changing, possibly life-changing situations. You might people meet people that are coming in your life new and that could be um, affecting your uh, destiny in a ways or the way you see yourself or others and they might be coming as a as a relationship or friends for just for a short time but it feels like there is a lot of impact coming your way however overall I have this is a very good very good beautiful year for you Aries and I couldn't be more happier than now all right my lovelies Oh, I wish you a very, very happy new year, my lovelies. And I'm sending you love and light. Thanks so much for, stick with sticking, <laughs> for sticking with me this year. And and um, I'm ever so grateful for you being here as well. And I'll see you, guess where? In the next reading. That's correct. See ya. Take care.